I think there's a big link between music and mathematics, and many people have talked about this connection. Uh, Leibniz, who invented the calculus, said that uh, music is the pleasure the human mind experiences with counting without realizing that they're counting. Um, but I think the connections go much deeper than just counting. Uh, composers are very often on the lookout for interesting structures to frame their composition. And what I'm finding in the music that I'm looking at um, here in Stockholm is that there are fascinating mathematical structures that um, I'm interested in as a mathematician, which underpin many of the pieces that uh, we're looking at um, here in Stockholm. We've got a chance to actually explore some really fascinating pieces of music. So actually from uh, Bach, Mozart, all the way through to Berg and Messiaen. So um, it's interesting, Bach's uh, student, Mitzler, used to say that Bach's music was the process of sounding mathematics. And his idea of themes and variations, he uses a lot of mathematical games and algorithms to take a very simple theme and then to evolve it into something very complex. So I'm hoping to show the audience and perhaps some of the members of the orchestra um, actually these little algorithms, how a simple seed can give rise to the complexity of Bach's music. And if you go through to something like the 20th century, um, then people like um, Berg were using a system where they threw away a lot of structure, the, um, the sort of um, harmonic structure that Mozart and Bach were using, and they replaced it with just looking at the chromatic scale and considering each of the 12 notes as somehow uh, equal. But if you throw away structure, you need new structure in order to frame your composition. Stravinsky actually always used to say that I'm only creative under huge constraints. And actually these constraints uh, for someone like Berg in the lyric suite um, come again from mathematics. Daniel came to me with this idea of um, interplay, playing with uh, the relationship between music and many other disciplines. And uh, for me, it was just a fantastic excuse to spend some time getting to know these pieces intimately. So Daniel and I sat down, talked about the repertoire. I said the sort of composers that I loved, and we pieced together um, this program, um, which I think is quite adventurous. Uh, you know, it's pushing all of us. Um, uh, so uh, yeah, we've had a lot of fun just exploring um, how to bring alive the mathematics. We're working with a fantastic, uh, visual company artists and engineers who are realizing an extraordinary visual um, a, a sort of landscape which will be played alongside um, the music which will try and bring out some of the geometry that's hiding underneath the, the, the soundscape so yeah it's been a lot of fun playing mm -hmm.